I'm at the Geneva Motor Show with Victor Muller, the CEO of Spiker Cars. First of all, congratulations for completing the deal with GM and for securing Saab's future. So how did you pull it off and in such a short time? Well, we pulled it off by tremendous hard work and tenacity. Uh, it wasn't easy, but we got it done because Saab is an iconic brand and it was absolutely worth saving. So we're very proud we did that. And it wouldn't have been possible without Jan Aki and his team. They just kept on believing in a solution for the company and it came. So here we are today at the Geneva Salon. So how will Saab and Spiker, how will Saab and Spiker fit together in the new organization? Uh, will they be merged? Oh, definitely not. Saab and Spiker are two separate brands and they will remain separate as two sister companies under one holding. They will benefit from each other. I mean, Spiker will bring entrepreneurship to Saab. It will definitely bring the knowledge about premium branding to Saab but definitely we're not going to run Saab. Saab is run by its own management and headed by Jan Aki and his fabulous team, and that's the way it's gonna stay. We're not going to change that in any way, shape or form. So do you think that will make it successful? Well, if I didn't think it was going to be successful, we wouldn't have bought the company. Yes, we are very convinced it's gonna be successful. We have a fully funded business plan. We have 16 months, within 16 months, we have three new models coming on the market. We have great plans for the future. We have phenomenal support from every possible institution in Sweden, including the government and the European Investment Bank with the loan that we got. So I think we're in good shape to make Saab into a very profitable independent car company. And you and everybody else are up for the challenge? I work more than up for the challenge, no. If you have overcome the past three months, anything else after that feels relatively easy.